about FU, itong si Adwo, very simple. Oh. Simple lang maglaro, but you know, we don't normally mention her a lot, but we credit a lot of the points. FU should credit a lot of the points to her. Actually, silang dalawa ni Lazaro yung medyo pareho sila na style na they're not the you know, flashy liberos. But very effective. Very effective. 16, FU. But FU, still ahead by two. Still watching the 74th season of the Women's Volleyball Tournament. Last day of competitions for the year 2011. They closed out by these two teams at Tinea and FEU. But January 7th, they come back. FEU goes back against National University, who are really skidding here in this tournament. While a great matchup to open up the year, Adamson and Ateneo Adamson won earlier against National University in five sets. And tell us about your experience during the Christmas break when you were playing. Christmas break? Say no, wala. Is there ever? Me <laughs> Christmas break, ba? Yeah, that's why I'm asking. Think, yeah, I, I don't think uh, the teams would actually uh, take a break over the holidays. It would probably, um, of course, yung Christmas yes. break na yan. And but Eve, uh, yeah. Christmas Eve and all that. But for most of the days that, that everybody else will be on holidays, these girls will be sweating it out mm. in their respective gyms, of course, preparing for next year. Mm. And it's even tougher, actually, because, siempre, I mean, I mean, holiday season, all of the parties are there. You eat a lot. Yes. It's uh, definitely um, difficult and tough for the girls. Unless, right? of course, you have the appetite and metabolism of an Andre Mulia. Thanks for just announcing <laughs> how much I oh, eat. Pero binawi ko naman ng metabolism. Oh, Nakikita ka naman on cam. <laughs> Sabi ba nilang talaga? Wala yeah. kumain yan. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Boom. <laughs> you know you can take that as a compliment, knowing you. <laughs> 17 serving 15. But of course, my partner here still plays. You get to play every now and then, right? Every now and then, yep. I make it the point yeah. that, uh, you know, I still get to play with some of the players who are still actually here. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's right. In the off-season. Palita na naman dito. Ferrer, Kainglet. Unable to put it away. Lamang nagdalawang FEU. Gretchen gives oh. him a point. Oh, on a salvaged play. Very critical part of this set. Uh, and at 17-16, huh? For FEU, of course. <laughs> we can see na yung nagkukulang sa kanila ngayon is coverage. They need tighter coverage. We have uh, such strong offense here on the side of uh, Ateneo. Gretchen Ho, the walk-in during the tryouts four years ago. Rojas through the block. It's a great set by Giselle C. And they maintain that two-point distance between them and the Lady Eagles. Kaliwete pa naman, as always. Oh, different angle. Oh. Of course, what FU is looking at in this game is probably a repeat of what they had done in their match against La Salle. Valdez from the back line. Bitin. Valdez sets up Phil. Basas handles it. Vargas full strength. Great dig from Valdez. Kainglet puts oh. it away. It's that sweet spot in the middle. Kainglet made it look very simple. Yes. Wrist action, yep. very simple. Attack from uh, Kainglet. Kitang kita mo yung palo ng kamay ano. Oh! And a service error by Phil Kainglet, who's actually in the top 10 of our best servers at number 10. It happens to everybody. Mm -hmm. Here's the girl who's at number 6 in that spot, Giselle C. C is a very steady server yep. for FEU. Oh, it's a very na naman. Tatlo na naman na lamang. And Baniel will come in now for FEU for Basas, I believe, but after a, an Ateneo timeout. Alam yung malayo eh. Gawan yun ng paraan. Eh, ang hirap kasi sa inyo, naghahanap kayo ng magandang set. Kung ano yung dumating, dipagsagaan natin. Sayang, ang dami nating tinatapon-tapon kasi. Ang lakas nung nasa harap dyan, kailangan makalaro na magkombinasyon ka. Huwag mong paglayuin yung dalawang dulo. Kombinasyon mo yung isa doon sa harap. Kaya mo na si Baldo rito. Yes, 
2017 FEU looking to extend this match into a fourth set. So it's Giselle, she's three serving again, and that Tampa always helps them three, when she's team at captain, the service Giselle area. Lazaro. Easy ball for FU. Let's see what they do. Oh, oh but Yellow just, just checked in. Roof. Yep. Ano mga sinasabi? Napayungan, nabubungan. Look at that. Uh, that's all straight down. Straight An offensive down. block, if I ever saw one. But the lead is still with FU. 18 serving 20. Vargas! Oh, forcing Pailet. Extra smoke on that ball, and You see the speed of that ball. And yung thud, you know that the power and the speed. Ooh. Kaya na... The pace. was <laughs> unable. Kung unforced error. Unable, she, yeah. she couldn't just, you know, get to that one. Unable to handle. Tama yung pwesto ni Phil. Correct, eh. correct. Talaga malakas lang. Parang ganun, malakas din yung sagot. Itong si Alisa Valdez. 19 to 21. On a combination play again. But Ateneo is behind by two. They're hanging around. Can they snatch the rug from under the feet of FEU? to win. Gumapang. Valdez off speed. Oh, same area. It's at that uh, middle area eh, that they really cannot cover. Parang may X na nga oh. dun eh. Parang may target eh. Hindi nyo ilagay. Hindi namin kukunin. A donut hole as they call it. Service. Lead is one. 20 serving. 21. Nakachi. See underhand set. This is a free ball, technically, for Ateneo. What will they do? They go to Gretchen, and that's a point and a tied game. A test of character for Ateneo to come back. A test of character for FEU to try to fend off the Lady Eagles. Again, I'll say this, and I've said this so many years. If you're watching volleyball for the very first time and you think that is such a mean coach, a mean timeout, that's all part of volleyball coaching. It's all part of the game. Those girls don't take it personally. They forget it as soon as they march back. But what they won't forget is the instruction. And that's why. Very normal to see, you know, these kinds of uh, situation while the game is on goal. Sometimes it's a team timeout. Sometimes you get singled out. It's all part of it. Of course, that's the last thing that you want, being yeah. singled out. But, you know, it's, it's normal. It's on part national of the TV. game. <laughs> on national TV. But on it, you're right, it's, it's very normal. Ooh. Ang te technique talaga is, paano mo kakalimutan? And boy, did FU have short memory in the last two se sequences. They score two points right away after the timeout. 21, Ateneo, Malakas naman tayo doon sa harap, kailangan makareceive muna tayo. Hindi mag-uumpisa eh, kailangan ma-receive. Makapalo, may play tayo, doon ang atake sa harapan. Huwag mo paglayuin yung dalawa, tapos ang boxing niyan. Well, Coach Roger pointing out, if you're gonna do something, you do it with conviction. It cannot be half-hearted. Well, let's see if after that uh, timeout, they can turn things around. Rose Vargas. Vargas back. And the service station. Lazaro receiving. Better reception. Double fake. Oh, and her Vasho got to it much faster than FEU. Dalawa yung tumalot para sa Ateneo. Actually, nakuha ng FEU yun. Kaya lang, talagang malas lang. Vasho with another power tip. Tense moments here. 22 serving 23. Oh, that was too high. 
Yeah, Lazaro was able to get to it. Kainglet, Giselle C with coverage. Yulalio is checked. Baniel. Here's a chance for Ateneo. They go to Phil. Sent back. Ferrer goes back to Kainglet. Sent back again. Back set. Over set. Oh. But it's swiped. Is it swiped? It's FEU point coach Roger says it's check ball. Might be worth looking at it again. Although again, wala tayong benefit ng replay. But let's see if there was a touch. See Hervasho. Seemed like there was. Yeah, the ball, the ch it changed direction. And fortunately, the referees don't have the luxury of the screens that we have here. It's a game changer here. Mm -hmm. And Hervasho made the attempt. Adjusted in midair and swiped it. It seemed like the ball changed directions. We have grazed the hands of one of the blockers. Let's look at that spot again. Left-handed adjustment. It's a check ball. Officially, it's a check ball. I mean, sorry. On the replay, it's a check ball. But officially, it's an FEU point. Which brings us to set point here. 24-22. That's Kasama Salaruyan. Kasama yan Salaruyan. From where we're at, we, I, I can see Coach Roger just, you know, natatawa with that last call. Probably unhappy, of course, but uh, we'll see how the girls can turn things around. Correct. They don't want to extend this to a yes. four-set match. That's a great point, man. This is where you also are tested when the call don't, doesn't go your way. Kasama sa laro yan. Breaks of the game. Breaks of the game. Again, you have to easily forget, but Eulalio finds a spot. Lazaro unable to get it. And guess what? FEU is still alive. Eulalio with an acute angle. Stares down Dinden Lazaro too. She as knew, she rolls to the other side. She knew from the time that she jumped, she wanted to bring the ball there. Smart play. FEU. By the skin of their teeth, win the third set. Back in a moment for the fourth. 